So this is the extrusion line. Uh, so pretty much we have uh, raw material coming from the ground storage area and then drops onto a conveyor belt from the ground storage area into this plant and then it gets mixed with water and other additives to uh, form this and then the vacuum seal comes on and uh, it sucks out all the air out of the brick so it can form one solid brick and then it comes out of the extruder as one solid form and then the slug it goes to the slug cutter and then the slug cutter cuts it and then it goes all the way to the setting machine at the robots. All right, let's go check out the robots. So this is the robots. Uh, they come from the extrusion line after the slug cutter comes over here and it hits this push button which will automatically push these robots on to push the brick into the wire cutters and then the brick comes past this and it comes onto the rollers which push it to the end and they offset them so the robot arms don't hit each other. And then we have the, the laser eye to actually tell them where they're at so the robots will know on the program. And then they'll uh, have a certain program for when they actually set the brick for each different type of brick. And then after they set it, they will go into the holding room and then the dryers and the kiln. All right, let's go to the kilns. This is our kiln and we have our dry, uh, brick coming from the dryers and then it comes into the kiln and then we have a certain type of temperature for each type of brick and we have about 20 brick from this paver plant and it comes in and it's only about stack five high and then it comes in and it hits a heating zone and then it hits a cooling zone and by the end of it, it's still hot to touch and then it goes into the packaging line and then it will go onto the packaging which we call DHAC. I like Pine Hall Brick because it's a family owned company. I also like Pine Hall Brick because in every uh, job we have you can normally get your hands dirty in it and there's a bunch of different various jobs that we do so we're not doing one task every other day. We always have multiple jobs to do. I think one of the major skills that apprentices has to have is patience, uh, common sense, and communication skills. We do a bunch of different styles of bricks. We do English edge, we do uh, full range modulars, and then we also get to do textured brick, and we also do stamp brick and ADA brick here, which is the stuff that, you know, the, on, the, on the sidewalk, you know, that has the bumps on it. We do that here. Uh, it's a very open culture. It's a, a privately owned company, family oriented. Um, we uh, open to ideas. Uh, one of our philosophies at Pine Hall is easy to do business with. So uh, with customers, that with, with us being easy to do business with from a customer standpoint, they can ask for a specific color and we can work on that. A uh, pre-apprentice should expect to, to grow um, not only in their their educational stand, standpoint, but uh, they should also be growing as a, as a person and, uh, and forming good practicing techniques as far as being able to be a, an excellent employee. Uh, you got to be open to ideas and willing to speak. Um, that's one thing that we're looking for, our em, em, future employees that are willing to step out there, ask questions, and be open to try things. 2022 will be here 100 years in Rockingham County, so or in this area, Stokes County, Rockingham County. Uh, so we're we're here to stay, and we've been here a while. So we're we're kind of dug in deep into the community. This is one of the many areas that we do testing here at Pine Hall Brick. This is where we actually fire our tested brick to check to see color, temper, different aspects of our brick. We have several different types of kilns. This is another one of our many testing equipment. This is actually a mock extruder, uh, much smaller than the ones compared out in our plant. This is where we test the different extrusion methods for our brick, um, different colors, different materials, different tempers. It's a very important part of our process so we know that we're getting a good quality product out of our plants. This here is our sample room. This is where we take our bricks, we saw the face off of them and glue them to boards so we can send them off to our customers for a sample of what our brick actually looks like on a wall. 
Um, over here, we actually glue the brick to the board. We then ship it off to the customer or to some sort of showroom. So out of our different types of brick, we have some that are cut and roll back. We have some that are just regular cut. We have some that are wire cut. We have some that are smoothed edge, like our English edge, which actually have nibs on them for pavers. So over here, we actually have a simulated mortar. We have several different types of color of mortar. This actually shows what it would look like if it were put into a wall to help our customers better understand what their brick will look like in their walls. And this here would be the finished product of a lot of what our sample boards will look like. It's a family operated business. In uh, 2022, we'll be, we'll be here uh, in business uh, 100 years. Everyone uh, treats everybody like family. Our apprentice, when they came to work here, they accepted their apprentice, they fell right in, they treated him just like a regular employee, and uh, I think that's why they like it here at Pineal Brick so good. They were learned the process from the beginning to the end. We know that our apprentices is going to be the, the future to our company, and that's why we invest in the apprenticeship program.